Here is a quick overview of the project. You'll find two files included, the template and the script. Once you open them on After Effects, you'll see all the preview examples and the forecast graphics elements. All the setups you see on the preview are also included here. In the Elements folder you'll find the forecast graphics composition that's used with the script. Double-click to open it, and let's see how it works. Write the name of a city in the world inside the city name text box. Click the current weather button to apply the forecast data. As you can see the marker shows the date of the forecast. Now try the hourly forecast button, to get a forecast based on a 3 hour step. The forecast hours go from 00 am to 3 am, 6 am, 9 am and so on. In my case it's 1 pm. And a plus 3 hours forecast gives the closest time. Which is 3 pm. Or 1500. Change the slider to plus 24 hours. And click the forecast button again. Now the forecast date has changed to tomorrow at 12 o'clock. Which is the closest 24 hour plus time to my 1 pm. Set the slider to 27 hours plus to get the same 3 pm forecast for tomorrow. Once you're done with the forecast data. Select the control layer to customize the look of the graphics. I've tried to include as many customization options as possible for every text and graphical element. You can turn on and off everything, as well as set them to custom, to input values manually. In this way you can create something similar to the preview examples by combining the forecast graphics with the flat maps and the globe animations. Once you have everything set up for your broadcast channel for example, you can just select and update the graphics every day to get a daily forecast in minutes. Here I updated the today's graphics for the Germany example. And as you can see the date and the forecast did update to today's time. Let's assume you've set up something similar for your own country map. But now you want to get the forecast for tonight. To do this you'll use the second slider of the script which pushes the forecast time for all compositions that you select. Set the slider to push time by 12 hours and select the compositions you might want to process. As an example I'll select the same compositions. Once processed the forecast time has changed from plus 3 to plus 15 hours. Now I can update the graphics for those same selected comps, and get the forecast for tonight. The main composition might take a second to refresh. The 20k textures and vectors are very heavy. I suggest that you pre-render your map animations and weather icons. To confirm the update you can check that the forecast time has changed from 3pm to 3am. Plus 12 hours ahead like we set it. That's it for a quick overview of the main project features. Check out the other tutorials to find out how to activate the script and much more.